Okay guys, uh, for this video today, I'm going to be talking about a Canadian Hockey League related topic for the first time in I believe two years. So, and guys, if you do follow any of the uh, three leagues that form this, the CHL, whether it's the WHL, the Ontario Hockey League, or of course the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, due to the fact that I'm so far behind on so many different things revolving around the National Hockey League, especially, and the NFL. Um, don't be surprised if this is probably going to be the only CHL video that I do for a while. Which, it kills me to say that, but unfortunately, that's the way it's probably going to be for quite a while. But um, anyways, for this video today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that is never a good topic. There's always somebody that loses, or a community or a city that loses in this situation, but I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the Kootenai Ice of the Western Hockey League relocating to Winnipeg in time for the upcoming 2019-2020 WHL season. And of course, as I say upcoming, that's as of right now because it is, I believe, February 17th, 2019, as I'm filming this, eh? Um, but uh, with the Kootenai Ice relocating to Winnipeg, um, I am very happy that Winnipeg is finally getting a WHL team. I feel that Winnipeg is long overdue. And not only that, but I feel that the province of Manitoba should have at least another team, considering that the Brandon Wheat Kings have been the only WHL team based out of, Man out of the province of Manitoba for a long, long time. So with this relocation, Starting next season, the Wheat Kings are finally going to have a provincial rival, which I think is going to be better for them travel-wise. And you know what? I actually feel that you know Winnipeg's probably going to do all right in terms of attendance. I, I could see the Winnipeg team doing pretty good with attendance. And you know what? Unfortunately, from what I've heard, there's been major attendance issues with the um, ice being in Cranbrook, British Columbia, which is a shame. But uh, hopefully this relocation is going to help the franchise long term with attendance and hopefully it'll put an end to their attendance problems if that is the case, which that's what I've heard with the Kootenai Ice is the issue is that they haven't had enough attendance, which is really unfortunate. And I'll get into that in a second. But um, as much as I think that Winnipeg is overdue for a Western Hockey League franchise, unfortunately, in my personal opinion, I really do feel genuinely bad for the folks in Cranbrook, British Columbia, where this team has been based out of for the past 20 plus years. And originally the franchise was the Edmonton Ice before they relocated to Cranbrook, BC. They were based out of Edmonton, Alberta. And then, of course, they ended up ultimately relocating to Cranbrook, BC, where they've been the Kootenai Ice ever since. Notice that the name is Kootenai instead of Cranbrook, because I think the team was called Kootenai to represent that entire region of British Columbia, which I, I still think that's a, I think that's a great idea, in my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's something that I think is really unfortunate for the folks in Cranbrook, BC. And I'm going to get into this now, and I've never talked about this on the channel here before, but one thing that I absolutely love about the Canadian Hockey League as a whole is that it gives, t it gives uh, hockey fans in smaller communities and smaller cities that would never have a chance at a NHL franchise in a million years or probably would never get a chance at an American Hockey League franchise even, get a chance to have a semi-professional team to, you know, rally behind. And I think that is so cool that the Canadian Hockey League fills in that void for so many smaller communities and so many different cities in both Canada and even parts of the northern United States, such as Michigan, Washington State, and Oregon. Where, of course, in Oregon, I believe is the the Portland Winterhawks are, I believe, the southernmost uh, team in the entire Canadian Hockey League. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I know that Portland, Oregon is 
the state of Oregon is south of Washington state. So, you know, considering that there's a team that far south in the United States in the Canadian Hockey League, specifically in the Western Hockey League, I'm pretty sure the Winterhawks are probably the southernmost uh, team in the entire CHL. And if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me. I would appreciate it. But, um, yeah, I mean, for me, with the Canadian Hockey League, I love that that league gives smaller communities like Cranbrook a chance to have a semi-professional or, in, in this case, a major junior hockey team. You know, you get to see cities or smaller communities like Moose Jaw, Prince George, B.C., um, Shawinigan in, in the Quebec Major Junior League, the Monc city of Moncton with the Moncton Wildcats, or the Halifax Mooseheads, for example, and you get to see different teams like that. And you get to see teams in U.S. cities like, for example, Everett, Washington, or Saginaw, or Flint in Michigan. Um, and you know what? It's great that these smaller cities in both the northern U.S., and across Canada get a chance to have some type of semi-professional hockey team for smaller communities to be able to enjoy and be able to rally behind. And I think that's so cool, eh? Um, but you know what? That's something that kind of stings about the Kootenai Ice relocating to a bigger city like Winnipeg is that that's a smaller community that would never have a chance at ever having they'll probably never have any type of professional team or they and they'd probably never even get a chance to even have an American Hockey League franchise for goodness sake but thanks to the Western Hockey League they've had a team for the past 20 something years so now that they're moving to Winnipeg I think it's a shame but if there is a major attendance issues that are hurting hurting the franchise unfortunately you know I can see why they're moving and it sucks but in my opinion, I mean, I mean I'm not saying this because I'm against Winnipeg getting a team. Like I think it's fantastic that Winnipeg's getting a WHL team. I think I think they're long overdue. I mean, every other Western Canadian NHL city has a uh, Western Hockey League team. I mean, Vancouver has the Giants, Calgary has the Hitmen, and of course Edmonton has the Oil Kings. And now Winnipeg's going to have the Kootenai Ice or the team will still be called the Ice when they relocate to Winnipeg. They're not changing the name, but I do hope they change their uniforms because to me, they are just basically Los Angeles Kings jerseys with a bit of powdered blue on them, which, yeehaw, real creative. Or at the bare minimum, make the home jersey powdered blue if they're going to keep the Kings template. But anyway, you know, they just changed their logo last season. And I'll show it in the thumbnail for this video, by the way, but it subtly has the, the word ice on the left-hand side of the, um, of the back of the, um, or tuft of hair on the back of the uh, Yeti's head. And I actually feel that's a really nice, creative thing to do. It's really quite clever. And it's, it's cool that they're going to keep the name ice when they relocate to Winnipeg and you know what I do even though I've always liked the older one the old logo that was replaced I do feel that the ice did a good job on modernizing and creating the new logo they had last season and of course for this season which will now be their final season in Cranbrook BC but you know I wish Winnipeg was coming in as an expansion team rather than a relocation out of Cranbrook BC but what makes me happy about Winnipeg getting a team though is that you know what that's another NHL city that's going to have major junior hockey. And for the folks that are probably or possibly priced out of the NHL, the high NHL ticket costs, they're going to be able to take their families and go see something more affordable and go see some good hockey entertainment for a more affordable price. And I'm never against that. I think that's terrific. And in terms of attendance, I, I would be very surprised if uh, the Winnipeg once Winnipeg gets the ice that the attendance is equally as bad as it supposedly has been in Cranbrook so I'm thinking that what's going to end up happening is their attendance is going to go up and that's going to be a good thing and I'm happy about that but uh, with the ice relocating to Winnipeg next year it sucks that a smaller community is losing a, a team 
but if there if attendance is the issue and the ownership can't keep the team there then unfortunately I understand why it's gonna happen and you know what it's just a case if it is what it is unfortunately but see that's the thing though that I love about the Western Hockey League is that and CHL as a whole is that it gives smaller communities a chance to have some type of semi-professional hockey and I'm never against that I think that is so great but uh, yeah you know it's it's unfortunate but at the same time if attendance is that bad then I totally understand why this is hap this is now happening but Winnipeg is going to keep the ice name and their logos and I assume their jerseys at least for next season I mean I do hope that when they once they've been in Winnipeg for a year or two that they do reconsider the uniforms at least because they're just basically Los Angeles Kings jerseys with powdered blue on them but the logo's very it's got it's actually pretty decent for a modernized take on their old logo I mean they've really modernized it and usually I find that when teams modernize logos they're not as good as what they replace but I actually feel that they did a good job with the rebrand of the Kootenai Ice so I'm glad that they're keeping the logo around and I'll put the logo in on the thumbnail of this video so that you guys can see it too. You'll notice the ice word mark on the left hand side of the logo too if you look at it closely which is really quite clever. But yeah you know it stinks that that's gonna happen but you know what I do think it's good that Winnipeg's getting a junior hockey a major junior team and I feel like they're gonna support it probably quite well and it's gonna give families and fans as a whole that may not be able to afford the high prices that you pay for NHL tickets and I do hear that Winnipeg pays some of the highest tickets in the entire league or the National Hockey League so seeing them getting a, another option for people who maybe are priced out of the Jets tickets ticket prices I, is never a bad thing and I think it's great that not only is that going to happen but the Brandon Wheat Kings are finally going to have a provincial rival I think it'll help improve their travels and their scheduling a little bit too and that's not a bad thing but once again though it's a shame it couldn't work out in Cranbrook because I love the idea of the CHL as a whole service servicing or serving uh, semi semi pro hockey to smaller communities so that always stinks, but at the end of it all, I think Winnipeg's going to do good. I mean, I know that the Giants, the Hitmen, and the Oil Kings have pretty decent fan support from what I've seen. So I, I can't see Winnipeg not having equally good or possibly even better fan support than those three cities. And remember, I say possible because it could happen, but maybe it doesn't happen. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's worse. We don't know yet, but I highly doubt it that it's going to be worse. I think it'll be the same. And who knows, it might even be better. Time will tell, eh? Uh, but yeah, no, so I, I thought I'd do sit down and do a video on this topic because it's something that I wanted to talk about and I thought it was worthy of a video, especially when I haven't done a CHL-related YouTube video in two years. So it's nice to end this drought finally. Um, and also, I just realized it has been two years since my last February video. Or, my, or since the last time I uploaded a video in the month of February. So I'm finally ending that drought here tonight, which makes me very happy. And I mentioned that to those of you who uh, follow me on my Facebook page that about that last night when I uploaded that video there. And speaking of that, folks, um, I'll just quickly throw it in here before I end this video. But I do post, I will be starting to post monthly updates on my Facebook page or videos that you'll only get to see on my Facebook page. So if you want to like it it's the same name as this channel so feel free to check it out if you don't want to and you don't want to follow it I totally understand but I just thought I'd throw that in there just in case anybody was maybe interested in checking that out so sometimes I post the odd extra little thing that I wouldn't post on here otherwise and on top of that now I'm going to start doing monthly uh, Facebook videos for the page only so feel free to check that out if you want if you don't I totally understand but with that you guys I will call it a wrap on this video. I feel really bad for the folks in Cranbrook, BC for losing the ice, but I think that the team will do good in Winnipeg. At least I hope they will, and I'm sure they will. And you know what? It's it's going to suck to see the, the ice leave the smaller community like Cranbrook, but I do think it's long overdue that Winnipeg gets a WHL team. And the province of Manitoba finally gets a second team. 
um, as well. So with that, you guys, I'll call it a wrap on this video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you guys think about the ice relocating to Winnipeg for next year. And of course, as always, you guys, uh, take care. And of course, as usual, bye for now.